All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually cut the top surface of our part. And to do that, we're going to use a 3-inch Dodeca Mini Shell Mill. So the insert that we're using is not the insert that I used 10 years ago. This is a new insert. This is the KCSM40. It's a special blend of carbide. So you can machine a perfect part consistently. So we're using this shell mill to create the first datum, the first perfect surface. And then when we drop down and create pockets and holes, all the dimensions will come off that surface. So you see the part right here, okay? I got my excess inconel, the material I'm holding on to on the outside. And then I got material all the way around and I got material on the top, okay? So if we actually go into my setup and go into edit, come to stock, you can see exactly how much material I've left. So we have 185 thousandths on X negative, X positive, 115 thousandths in Y. So 115 in the back, 115 up front. I have 20 thousandths right here on the top surface and I have 340 thousandths on the bottom surface. All right, so let me explain the speeds and feeds for the Dodeca Mini. We have a surface foot of 200, which is giving us an RPM of 254. And we have five inserts on this shell mill. So when you look at our actual feed per tooth, 0056 is way on the bottom because the range on this specific tool and insert is 0.0056 to 0.0228. So as you can see, we got sky on the other side, but since this is a tutorial, I wanted to slow things down, all right? So on this pass, we're just taking a little bit of material on the top, but it is ink and L, and we wanna have a beautiful surface finish. So another thing that I've done is we've taken one insert out, brought in a wiper. So what is a wiper? So it's an insert that we use to bring out a beautiful surface finish. So all the other inserts actually come down and have a radius at the bottom that actually is cutting the material. The wiper actually has a flat on the bottom. The flat is about 190 thousandths wide. And the wiper actually sits lower than all the other inserts. So if the inserts we're at zero, the wiper would be set down at negative 0.0028, all right? So that's the difference between the two. And what happens is the first four inserts are gonna come and cut the metal, and then the wiper is gonna come back and clean, all right? So we're starting out with 200 surface foot, but on the machine, I might raise it a little bit to get a little bit more RPMs. And then I will adjust my chip load to slow or speed it up to get that perfect finish. The shell mill comes across and just skims perfectly across that surface. All right, so the first tool is complete. Now let's go to the next tool.